Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa on March 5th. And I am here with eighth graders for the production of Beauty and the Beast, along with director Jin Luria. What we're going to do is just go down the row of some of the stars and have you say your name and also say who you are in Beauty of the Beast. And when um, Mrs. Luria takes the mic, could you tell us a little bit about the production? I'm Elena Figali, and I play Mrs. Potts. I'm jo Johnny Cobras, and I'm the Beast. I'm Hayden Lever, and I am Gaston. I am Emily Hinton, and I am Belle. And this is uh, the classic story of two different people from two different places falling in love and being all the better for it. And it is not just the Disney version, it is the full Beauty and the Beast, and there's a lot more in the stage version that there is in the animated movie. And there's no animated characters. We couldn't figure out how to do that, could we? <laughs> so this um, middle school musical is about to be produced, and we are encouraging you to come. As you think about the musical, and you think about all the reasons why the audience might want to attend, what comes to your mind? Um, I definitely go for the set because it's really amazing and um, it's got a big castle and we have lots of village places and it's just very colorful and you'll definitely enjoy it. Uh, the reason you should come is because there's going to be food. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, as well as we have some amazing singers as well so you won't be listening to horrible music. <laughs> Um, also, a lot of the, the scenes we have, there's a lot of dancing, honestly, um, which we've come a long way. In the beginning, it was not very good dancing, but now it's pretty good. <laughs> um, the castle appliances have, really, have gotten really good, especially. Um, if you like laughing, you should come see the show. We laugh a lot, and there's also serious parts, so if you like a mix of both, you should come see us. And I don't think you will believe that these are middle schoolers putting on this production because they are performing well beyond their years. So how is it that a cast comes together? Um, when you started, you might not have known each other very well, and now you're putting on a full-scale production. How does, how does a, a group gel um, to make sure that you have the very best performance? Well, we do a lot of stuff together, as well as, like, besides the um, songs and dances and scenes. We do um, drama games. So then we sort of bond and then we become more comfortable with each other. So uh, I guess we break the ice between each other so that way we're more comfortable with each other. Yeah, like it's just our friendship for like I know for us we're, we've gotten a, <laughs> a lot better friends and it's good that way because if it wasn't then it'd be really awkward for most of the scenes <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to do it so I'm glad that I'm friends with these people so I totally agree with Hayden like I feel like the some of the awkward scenes made us closer because we were able to laugh together a lot and um, let's give the audience some details about the production, um, the different show times, where tickets are available, and anything else you want to say about this amazing group, Miss Luria. The production is Tuesday, March 18th, and that's a special 4 o'clock matinee show. And then it's the 19th, 20th, and 21st at 7 p.m. at the theater, and you can get tickets in the middle school office or the Fine Arts Office, it's 30 real for students and 50 real for adults. And I literally am in awe of the dedication and the commitment and the work that these kids have put in. They are putting on a top-notch show, and I would not say that if it wasn't true. And it's been a lot of fun. Yeah? Awkward sometimes, but fun. <laughs> and that's Sahifa for this week. Come to Beauty and the Beast. It's a production that you will not be disappointed in. All right, thank you.